Hello fellow citizens, in this tutorial we are going to add the Google Charts. Just a quick tutorial on how to add this. Um, there are plenty of them so we're just gonna touch on one. Um, let's go ahead and start with the scripts here. So we want to load the actual um, uh, the charts from the from Google. So we're gonna write script source is equal to https uh, semicolon slash slash www static dot com slash charts slash loader js I will provide this link to the description so don't worry about that if you didn't get it here gstatic.com slash charts slash loader js and that's it and now I'm gonna create a uh, div with the div um, div id root that's enough but I'm gonna add my chart inside uh, append it and then I want to go ahead and create the chart so now I'm going to write a script here and in this script I'm gonna of course the type text JavaScript uh, and then I'm going to do Google charts load and then add current and then add the package inside there are many packages but I'm going to use this one it's called uh, it's called core core chart so, core chart. so core chart and if you have many more packages you can just do this next package and blah, the list goes on I haven't used all the packages but uh, yeah I think this is the basic one awesome um, low so let's continue with this um, Google chart and we, sorry Google chart and then we have set on load callback so and then we're gonna pass the callback function inside with the data okay so now we're go I'm gonna leave an empty row here and then I'm going to create my function function chart so and then I'm going to create my data here inside data table so let's say word data is equal to new google visualization okay that's a bit weird new google dot visualization visual oh so data table what is so and then we are going to append data add column stream so and uh, we're gonna say let's say money money I don't know I don't know what kind of data to add but let's add something for now and then we can change it add column uh, number and then we're gonna say uh, coins no coins will be fine and then we're gonna add the rows <coughs> uh, add rows excuse me and we're gonna pass an array inside and inside here we're going to add a uh, so okay so let's say we have euro let's write so euro and we have one euro we have USD two we have a uh, pound two and uh, Swedish crowns I don't know five and uh, Hungarian I don't know <laughs> ten so I think that's enough um, yes 
And now after that we need to pass the options inside which are going to be the actual title. And uh, uh, let me see. Uh, curly braces, <coughs> sorry, title, my coins in multiple <coughs> currencies. So, and then I'm going to pass the width if I want, which is not necessary here, I think. Uh, 500 pixels and then uh, height 500 pixels so no I don't need the pixels 500 just a number so and these are my options maybe I can minimize a bit so you can see add rows and then pass the options title I think it looks good and then we need to sorry uh, here I will zoom again because I want to make sure you see what I write and then I'm going to create a chart var chart is equal to new Google visualization or oh, what a word man pie chart document get element by ID and then I'm going to pass my I just forgot the name of my ID. Root. Okay. That was simpler than I thought. Root. And then it's going to pass the chart inside. And uh, the last, the final part would be chart, draw uh, the data and the options. It's going to pass in the data and the options. So basically, this one, the data and this the options so what we did here is we loaded the script uh, the charts we added the we used the core chart package uh, I'm not sure what this current is exactly and we pass a function in a callback here function uh, with our chart so the data inside and so this is going to be column, column, rows, options, and the chart is going to be shown. So now we're going to go ahead and test this. I'm going to use my live server. And uh, it doesn't work. Awesome. So I'm going to go again. Google charts load. Um, hmm. Google charts load. I hope I didn't do any mistake here. Google charts load. Blah blah blah. Mm, looks fine. Ah, of course, we haven't passed our function here, our callback function. So this chart function has to be inside this callback. So I'm gonna save, and there we go. Boo! So now we have a pie here. And uh, you can see that. My coins in multiple currencies, which is my title, uh, width and height. If I change, for example, to 300, you see the width changes. Let's make it a thousand, make it big. So I'm going to make this 800. And then we have our currencies, Euro, USD, TVP, SEC, HOOF, half here. And here you can see this is divided by 100. So um, if I, for example, okay, let's say one, two, one, 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 they're going to be equal. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, divide, uh, divided by hundred mm -hmm. because you see it's 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, five times, which equals to hundred. Um, so if I were to, if I had two euros, if I put this two, it's, it's going to be, wait, let me show you. So let's say 100 divide by uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16.6. Yeah, it's roughly the same here, 16. So these are going to be 16.7, but this has two. 
So it's gonna be double that. Okay. So it's pretty easy to understand it, I hope. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it. We don't need to go very deep in that because it's very complicated. Uh, not complicated, but it's very broad. So I will go ahead and um, show you the documentation, Google chart, because these are things you don't need to remember. You just check the documentation and you just, you can copy paste the code and then you can just pass your data inside. So let's go to HTML here, SVG, because this is as a this is an SVG icon here. I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's called an SVG icon, but it's an SVG. You see here, right? So this is my root, and there is the SVG, which is awesome. You can click, and then you can you can add a lot of stuff here also in the options. Um, I don't even call everything from. I think you have a legend uh, left. I think this will. Bring this to the left here, you see. Center. Ah, oh, it doesn't work center, yeah. So you can do a lot of stuff, just check their documentation. Now you can go to quick start here, developers.google.com. I will pass this link into the description also. So yeah, here you see something similar to what I did. So, uh, and this is actually Almost the same code, I think. Yeah, I use this pies a lot. Not a lot, but usually I use the pies or the the graphs. So here you have the documentation, and you can go actually to chart gallery, and you can check what they have. So here are the charts. Look how many they have. It's really nice, <clears throat> especially if you use admin. Uh, you can pass them in the admin uh, so you can easily um, see, analyze your statistics and so on. And there you have our, uh, like there are tons of them, annotation, area, look at this. And you can just copy paste the code. Let's actually do it. Um, let's create a bar chart. They're also nice. Uh, let's do can I create it some copy that we would go here and we will we will take this code we will uh, I'm sorry to see we will pass it in the script so no didn't work so Okay, so now I paste it. This is just to show you, you don't need to write this chart div. Okay, we need the root, of course. And then you see how it goes. It's very easy, very, very easy to just copy paste and pass your data. Uh, of course, your data is not going to be hard coded. So you, you're going to get the data from the database and then you're going to pass it in here. And it's going to be very easy, I think. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add this code into the description because it's not a lot. And uh, good luck. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, feel free to explore this uh, documentation here and try uh, your own charts here. Add your charts, the charts you want. <laughs> awesome. Have a nice day. Bye bye.